This is Ram. Okay, I'm not a reporter, but I want to tell you this. I am here reporting from the ATEA National Conference Catalyze. We will be curating the startups and recommending to the government for further actions as well. This is what ATEA is doing now. A lot of more opportunities for collaboration between American uh, entrepreneurs and, and Indian geek economy. I think it's the right time. All of these startups have worked years and years for them to be here today. We offer an eco-friendly teaching and learning experience for all. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Sina. So we are a completely visual approach towards creating enterprise applications. Thank you so much, uh, ATA team, for uh, having me here. Our core focus is to curate your idea, to represent you for your first client, to mentor your startups or any other, you know, ventures that you are in and connect with VCs. That's kind of what we do. And you'll see, you'll hear the success stories um, of some of the things that we have done. Um, the things that we plan to do is to give you a startup showcases, as well as partnership with local corporations. Be a part of this. Take advantage. Let us help each other. And have a great conference. Oh, before I give it to the MCs, I want to tell you a few words about the MCs. This time, you will see a lot of college grads here, about 15 of them. They're kind of overly pressed, I think, but that's okay. Uh, but they are all excited, and they are the next generation, and we are working, when I say at the grassroots, at the next generation to make this happen. So we have given everything to them to run it. I hope you have a good round of applause. I want to understand how can people here, how can the leaders here ensure that they have a retention strategy? I, I, I don't understand people moving jobs every two, three years. I just don't. I think uh, it's, it's the Tinder culture, I suspect, but I'm not going to opine on that. I've been doing this for 10 years. That kid came in two years and now has the same opportunity. What did he or she do there? It's playing the y-axis, the potential axis. How do you show potential? It has to be clear roles, responsibility, what impact you have on the business. There has to be no ambiguity. I think 30-40% of corporate management jobs in America are poorly defined. You just have to go to LinkedIn and look at people's title and you're like, I have no idea what this guy does. And neither does he or she have any idea what the guy does because the roles are very poorly defined. So having really well-defined roles is one of them. MD Think is an IT modernization initiative. It stands for Total Human Services Integrated Network. Is the first program of its kind in the nation involving establishment of a cloud-based shared services technology platform to integrate the state's health and human services applications in order to more efficiently deliver vital services to Marylanders. Hi, Karshma. Uh, that was a fantastic session you moderated today with Sampan, the CEO of Horizon Business. So what was your experience like, you know, you coming here, first time coming to ATA and doing this for us? Uh -huh. uh, no. please, please share your uh, thoughts. No. Thank you so much for inviting me and it was really great chatting with Sampan. It was great to sort of help uh, share his knowledge and what he knows to the audience and uh, people who come from diverse businesses here. Um, really 
that was my job to sort of put his points across and be the person um, who gets his expertise out there. Um, it was great chatting with him. It was great chatting with uh, the people who attended the conferences as well. Um, the idea behind uh, what Verizon is doing, its 5G network and what they're looking to do forward, um, even in a current market downturn where their earnings are already getting crushed, it was helpful to sort of, you know, move away from that a little bit and talk about entrepreneurship and what um, businesses can do to grow. Because Sampath comes from like a broad range of experience. Um, you know, he has uh, over a decade um, in Boston Consulting Group, he comes from India. So what helped really to sort of, you know, put those ideas across and help them get to ADA, um, people who are attending here. Um, and I'm really glad that I was able to do that uh, successfully. Ready to go on stage and talk about SwarPay and also how it worked well with the ATA community and how the community is giving back to us and with how we plan on giving back to them. Before calling up our first startup pitch contestant, I would like to remind everyone that each startup will be given just five minutes to present and two minutes to answer only judges' questions. If the audience has any questions, you can use the Jibble Lab to answer them there. All contestants should now make their way to the AV table on the left side, and we would now like to welcome Mr. Aditya Morali from Swire. SwirePay uh, digitizes payments at the last mile, providing businesses all payment options, including real-time payments and FedNow. Essentially, to dumb it down, we are allow the ability to move funds between one bank account to another without the need for an intermediary bank. This eliminates float, saves businesses millions of dollars in interchange fees that are associated with card and ACH. Good afternoon, everybody. Good um, afternoon. Great to be here with all of you. And uh, I want to start by thanking um, all of the leadership of um, ATEA for putting on uh, this event for all the work that you do. My friend Ram uh, Nagapan, who invited me here, but all of the the volunteers who do a lot of work here to, to make these things possible. Um, all of us have lots of other things to do, so uh, volunteer organizations like this uh, that bring people together, I think, are uh, some of the most important organizations in the world for um, a whole variety of reasons. So a big shout out, a big thank you to all the people that are here. Um, well, I, you know, first of all, I would say luck. Um, you know, it's better to be uh, lucky than it is to be smart. So, as, if you can, try to be lucky. Um, that's, that's the first thing I like. That, that's the first thing. Um, I, I don't think I was particularly smart. I happened to be in some of the right places at the right time. Uh, but beyond that, they say that, you know, luck favors the prepared mind. And so, I think it's important also, after you're lucky, to have a, a prepared mind. Academics prepares the mind. But I think experiences prepare the mind more. And so I think if there's one thing I would point to over the time that, that I grew up, I was lucky to have a breadth of experiences and, and actually more than that, to seek out these experiences. You know, get out of your comfort zone, look uh, on the fringes, try to understand what's happening um, in places where you might not normally go. Um, and I found the most interesting things happening there. I found the most interesting things happening in the places that you know my, my normal life may not have taken me. And so I would say seek out those experiences. That, that was probably the most important thing that I did. Hello, okay, I'm, I'm standing between two important ladies. Um, and uh, on my right is the one who controls most of the thing, which is my wife. Okay. So I'll stop right there. If I go more, it'll be... In, and the left is my all-time sponsor, meaning <laughs> she will just come to this event and she'll sponsor no matter what, whenever I ask. So thank you, ladies, and I want you to say something about what do you think about today's program and what should I do better or what should we do? Oh, Usha. Usha is... Uh, she is... Um, uh, yeah, the New York Life women uh, agent champion. Um, you know, interestingly, she runs a team. What, you run the team with all women team, right? Yeah, yeah women empower team. 
is all into it. So, anyway, let me give it to them. Thank you very much. Congratulations, uh, American Tamil Entrepreneurs Association team. We are so happy and proud to be here. Like Devi mentioned, uh, that Tirukural is perfect because what it means is, before you start something, think well. Once you start, you don't go back on it, right? You get it done. So I think that's typically an entrepreneurial mindset, uh, and that is who we are. And the entire room is full of those entrepreneurs who have the same mindset and vision. Uh, ATA is link, learn, lead, which is like we have both established uh, entrepreneurs who are pioneers in the industry from various industries and also aspiring entrepreneurs who would like to be an entrepreneur. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so my name is uh, Raj Paul Bath. I work as an aide to Governor Murphy in the Department of Outreach where on a on a day to day, my main job is to connect and build relationships with our Asian American Pacific Islander community here in the state of New Jersey. And uh, when I found out that the uh, the American Tamil Entrepreneurs Association was right here having a national meeting in New Jersey, we, we couldn't give it up. The governor's schedule was a little busy, um, but we definitely wanted to make sure that we swung by, offered our greetings. Uh, for those of you not from New Jersey, welcome to the Garden State. I hope you enjoy your time and, uh, and your visit here. Um, but I wanted to take a moment to just echo uh, what the administration is doing when it comes to business development and uh, the work that each and every one of you are doing in not only building uh, your own generational wealth, uh, building your community up, playing a key role, but how New Jersey uh, can be of assistance to you. So we have uh, the New Jersey Economic Development Authority, uh, which kind of is our main driving force in uh, creating economic opportunities here in the state. Uh, we have the Business Action Center, uh, which also plays a huge role. And um, both of those are available. Uh, they're available to each and every one of you. Please introduce yourself, because I might have not done justice to all your excellent profiles. So Abby, so go ahead, introduce yourself. Hi everyone, thanks for having me. My name is Abby George. I'm the Chief Strategy Officer for Harmony Health. Um, we are a micro-engagement platform that brings health equity to diverse, um, underserved and vulnerable populations. We do that by really shifting sort of the dynamic of how outreach happens and how people access care um, by creating communications that are actually delivered by community organizations that are closest to the community member where they can speak in context, they can speak in their own language, they can share information um, to community members that helps them to actually take better care of themselves. That's from public health to business and now I'm actually working for the first time in my life for a for-profit company after spending 20, 25 years on the academic side. And I work for a group called Emeritus where we help health systems get into the arena of population health and get to a point where they can actually take on financial risks in managing populations. So we are a provider organization. We have a couple of hospitals, one in Princeton area and one in Trenton area. And we also have a very big medical group. We have uh, multi-specialty doctors and uh, primary care doctors, around 500 of them. So I oversee the technology department for the health system and uh, Lumeris, a uh, company like uh, what Dr. Navarit is working for, surely is, um, um, will be one of the vendors we'll be working for as we are growing on the population health side. But typically right now, majority of our business is fee for service, which means you get sick, you go pay for that service, and then uh, we get reimbursed from the payers mostly. Yep. Okay. Uh, we have um, Mr. Uh, Choko Valiapan from um, Sona Group from India, as well as he's a, a serial entrepreneur doing a lot of great things. We'll, we'll hear more from uh, Mr. Choko, uh, glad to meet you and uh, welcome you to this ATH Catalyze Conference 2022 in New Jersey. 
um and uh, nice to have you sir yeah, yeah thank you yeah. thank you thank you <laughs> How yes, are you? yeah yeah it's great to be here uh, uh today uh, just flew in from india uh, day before uh it's uh, exciting time in india uh, it's never been uh, more exciting than it is today especially india and tamil nadu so like you know tamil nadu the government is focused on this 1 trillion dollar economy to create in the state of tamil nadu so that's going to create a huge amount of opportunities and uh, coming from where i am from the educational side so we run a, a, a private university with 12000 students so the aspirations of the students are great and especially today where we are today with uh, post covid in a world where a lot of the geek economy is uh, is opening out one of the questions is what is the intention his answer was 23 after he walked out he realized oh my goodness i answered a very simple question wrong so i am not going to get this job so he left couple of weeks back after couple of weeks he got a job offer and he was so surprised and shocked he came back and joined the company sorry the bank is the same manager who he interviewed he is reporting to and he waited for one year because that is the probation period after he became permanent he came back and said like yes, sir i have something to talk to you okay please come on in we can talk in the lunch he went and said you know like one of the question you asked in the interview is like what is three times eight i answer 23 by god's grace you didn't hear my answer thank you everyone this is a great opportunity and my pleasure to be a part of this uh, organization and thank you for the invite Uh, yes to give you some small uh, background of myself i am the executive director for the modernization of health and human services for the state of maryland so that is my key goal and it's kind of like a multi billion dollar activity and the effort needs to go for the 10 year project so it is kind of uh, a big uh, movement we are doing right now in the past 5 years what we did is you know we focused on the department of human services so that is mainly focused on the child welfare child support adult services eligibility and enrollment all those things this uh, department of human services is a 4 billion dollar agency wow. who, which touches like over a million people in the state of maryland mm. so we give like a lot of benefits to that and we we can proudly say that we are the first one in the nation to modernize such a complex agency in the past four and a half years period of time Now we would like to invite our next startup pitch contestant Mr. Jacob Anthony from Rapidbots. Hey, good morning. Good afternoon guys. My name is Jacob Anthony. I'm the CEO of Rapidbots. It's a test automation platform on SaaS model and uh, we are a 3-year-old company out of Princeton, New Jersey. And uh, I'm here with my CTO Sadish Kumar. Hello. And, uh, I would like to tell you a story about how we started out. It was in mid 2018. We were just wondering how come the adoption of this automation in the medium to <coughs> enterprise clients is so minuscule. So we decided to engage a company to do a <coughs> uh, survey as why it is happening, or what are the problems, and they came out with a. You know, we did a decent effort. Uh, they came out with a list of items, and that confirms with what we thought was the reasons. And uh, I, I can probably list out some of the reasons. One is that it was kind of difficult to maintain the test automation cases and the framework. And uh, second one was it was very difficult for them to do the uh, instant automation and. Uh, a bunch of a uh, bunch of things like that and uh, i can give you a list of that and uh, yeah they were not able to scale it and uh, ex- ex- extensive coding experience was required and also there was a lot of need for uh, automation engineers by the companies so it was very difficult for them to get those guys they have built a great ecosystem for whether it's a startup or investors to come and connect 
people like us to learn from experts and make that into practice. One striking difference I have observed with ATIA compared to some of the other association, this is not a one-time association which we are looking at. I have continuously got benefited out of ATIA. When I had some marketing needs, I reached out, reach out to some of the ATIA members and they connected with some, some nice team to help me out. I continuously pick Lena's brain, whether it is for improvising my business model or for cyber security. You know, there is always support and help extended by the ATM members, which I truly value and appreciate. Thank you for the support, Lena. It's always been a pleasure working and being part of ATM. All the good things that they're doing for the community. speech was excellent and he just floored the complete um, you know the audience and everybody was um, wanting to meet with him you know, personally that's a great thing for the speaker to attract a complete audience uh, he was connecting to connected he connected with everybody so i'm uh, sandeep kumar and uh, currently i'm at the atia event here in new jersey uh, the American Tamil Entrepreneurs Association and uh, this is the first time I've come to this event and uh, pretty impressive, uh, actually very impressive. Uh, the, the panels were amazing, very inspiring speakers and it was very well organized. Uh, uh, it takes a lot of uh, uh, logistics to be managed to organize an event like this and in my opinion, it's very well done. It's fantastic, actually. I think uh, this this is going to be one event which we all will be looking for from the more from the community angle. But uh, I would say that uh, so whatever the the purpose, what this is going with, uh, it, it's it's pretty successful. And looking forward for the next year even too at uh, Silicon Valley. Uh, great team, uh, Ram and uh, Lenny. Uh, all the best for you guys. Thank you.